Hello and welcome to Scientifically Speaking, where today I have to point out the obvious of how the moon is working. Now, the local catfish corner, who uh, insists that the moon is rolling across the sky, that the actual face of the moon is rolling across the sky, so that when it rises in the east, the face is down, and when it rises, sets in the west, uh, relatively speaking, it's uh, face up, as if it rotated 180 degrees. Now, we put up this video called The Level Evil It Takes to Lie Knowing It Will Cost Lives. He brings up this from the, uh, the Planetary Society about the moon, and it says exactly what I say. The moon isn't rolling. So let's just go through this para two paragraphs, and then I've built a 10-foot working model in my back garden, and we'll see if what I say true what I say is true, corresponds to what's on screen. So let's read it. It's important to note here that the moon doesn't orbit the Earth perfectly in line with our equator. There are a few things going on here. The Earth's axis is tilted, the moon's orbit is tilted, and everything is always moving and changing. But for simplicity's sake, let's pretend the moon orbits the Earth around the equator. This will make it easier to understand without changing any major conclusions about how we see the moon from different latitudes. In this case, if you were standing somewhere along the Earth's equator, as the Earth rotated, the moon would rise in the east, pass directly overhead, and then set in the west. Now, I have set up my experiment to show this. It's about a 10-foot loop. Uh, in this case, we're standing somewhere along the Earth's equator. As the Earth ro rotated, the moon would rise in the east, pass directly overhead, then set in the west. From this perspective, as the moon rose, it would have a top and bottom relative to the horizon. This I will show, like it does from any perspective on Earth. But after passing directly overhead, the moon would set on the opposite side of the sky from where it rose. At that point, it would have the opposite orientation compared to the horizon. So it would go from face down to face up, looking like it was 180 degrees, but it's not. So if you asked a person who lived on the equator which part of the moon was the top, they would have to ask what time, because from their perspective, it's face down in the east and face up in the west. I'm now going to show, uh, well, I'll show it. So I printed off three pictures of the moon. I'm going to place a piece of wire as the orbit through all three pictures. And through all three pictures, they are all going to have this orientation as if it's never rolling. OK, so it should go across the sky looking like that. Well, that's what I'm saying it does. It goes across the sky, always with Tycho Crater, literally at the bottom. Might be a few degrees off, but it ain't rolling 180 degrees. So I'm going to show this view when I follow the orbit of the moon. This is a loop of thick wire I had from my bonsai days, so I'll be using that. So we'll be using a couple of loops of wire. This is me. I've uh, looped it into an arc and I've lent it over so we have a tilted orbit. Hello and welcome to Scientifically Speaking. Today we're going to be looking at the moon orbit and the fallacy that the moon is rolling 180 degrees every night from horizon to horizon. So, this would be the orbit that the moon would take. The moon takes a straight path around its orbit, like everything takes a straight path around its orbit. I'm going to be leaning it up against here, as if that is uh, the orbit around the Earth. The Earth, of course, would be here. That would be where it goes underneath the Earth and then comes out the other side, or goes this way, sorry, and then pops up over there and it goes over the sky. And that's how it looks. It looks like that metal. Now I'm going to put three pictures of the moon up. One on the east, one on the west, and one on the middle of the sky. And you're going to see I'm going to put them all in a straight line. So let's have a look at what that looks like. Okay, so here we have our lunar orbit. <laughs> our lunar orbit, as you can see by the markings I've put on, I've put on my Initials, the date, if that's Tycho Crater, it's at the bottom at six o'clock. That's at the bottom at six o'clock. This is at the bottom at six o'clock. So these, there's no way these can rotate. Understand? I've shown 
with this, that on this orbit, the moon doesn't roll. There's no roll going on. Now the fallacy appears because people look at the moon wrongly. You have to be on your back. Pause for vehicle. I've said you've got to lie on your back and if you lie on your back and look left and right to east and west you will see that moon if you look up you'll see that moon and if you look to the west you'll see that moon and it will look exactly like that it will never roll so now I'm going to demonstrate depending on how you look at the moon tells you whether or not it has rolled 180 degrees all right let's just set this up So we have our moon orbit set up. Remember, this is not rotating. So we've got an angle to simulate an angle of it going round the globe. Coming up in the east, setting in the west, underneath, up in the east, that's what it does on its orbit. Okay, now, so this is how people who are wrong that the Moon is rolling 180 degrees. This is why they think they're, it's rolling 180 degrees. If they look up, they see Tycho at the bottom. If they look to the east. Oh, hang on a minute. Tycho's on the right. And it was on the bottom. And then we look to the west. Tycho's right there. So the Tycho crater has gone from here to here, 180 degree roll. But how is that possible? I just showed them all in a straight line. Well, if you're looking upwards, that's as if you're laying on your back. So to look left, you have to change your perspective by 90 degrees and tilt your head and then look. And what you get is that. That is the correct way to look at the east. If only the bloody, there we go. Which way have I had this? <laughs> so Tycho's at the bottom. So Tycho's on the right. Tycho's on the bottom. Tycho's on the left. That's because you're looking at it wrong. You have to go. Tycho's on the bottom. <sighs> Getting a bit too windy. Tycho's on the bottom. Tycho's on the bottom. And why? Because I've just actually followed the actual observable. So if I go from east to west and follow the ecliptic, Tycho Crater stays at the bottom. Tycho Crater stays at the bottom. Tycho Crater stays at the bottom. It didn't rotate at all. But if I look at it like this, Tycho is on the right, Tycho is on the bottom, Tycho is on the left. So it looks like it rolled 180 degrees, but it didn't, because you should be looking like that. I hope that clears anything up. These three pictures do not rotate, but they do if somebody tells you to look at the moon from a different 90 degree angle. On the right, on the bottom, on the left, but if you follow the actual uh, orbit, Tycho on the bottom, Tycho on the bottom, Tycho on the bottom. So stupid people are proposing a lie that the moon's rotating, but as you can see, no it doesn't. Tycho stays on the bottom, Tycho stays on the bottom, Tycho stays on the bottom. So you have to be laying on your back, because that's how your head is when you look up. If you want to recreate that, you have to follow the orbit and tilt your head sideways, 90 degrees. And that way, Tycho never rotates. Not ever. But if you just look left and change the perspective of the horizon, Tycho is on the right, 
Tycho is on the bomb, Tycho is on the left. You're not looking at it right. So me putting three pictures in a line showing they do not rotate. Well, yeah, if you follow them properly, how you're supposed to, they never will rotate. But if you just look left, look up and look right, you will get a false perspective because you are not following the orbit, which is why you would have to ask somebody, well, where is this moon in the sky? Depending on what you want to look at. Top and bottom, top and bottom, top and bottom. But if you look at it sideways, it will appear to rotate. So there we go. Three pictures that do not rotate, that actually look like they do rotate. But in fact, they do not rotate. So I made this rotate by looking at it wrong. But if we follow the actual orbit, it does not. Thanks very much. The local narc, Catfish Corners, just keeps trying to tell you all this absolute nonsense. Three pictures all in a row, and I made it look like it was rolling, but then I explained it isn't because you're looking at it wrong. You have a 90 degree difference when you look east and a 90 degree difference when you look left. It looks like 180 degrees, but if you actually follow the orbit, it never rolls. Thanks very much. My name is Lee, I follow the Christ. And science is really easy, but stupid lion narcs just can't seem to let go of when they're wrong. So unless, <laughs> now there's no one less about it. I'll just prove the moon isn't rolling. Thanks a lot, bye. So there we go, brothers and sisters. Uh, there's liars for Satan out there. Um, this was a pretty simple thing to explain that a four-year-old should be able to understand, but apparently the catfish cannot understand it because he's a liar for Satan. And everything he's ever said, uh, the woo that comes out of his mouth about the moon rolling because there's some other sun in the sky is obviously deluded nonsense because he says there's a black sun out there. The dark star, because it's a uh, ultraviolet one. Well, that means then that it's a uh, ultraviolet star. It means it's not red. So there's no red Kachina, it's an ultraviolet. And there's no blue Kachina because it's an ultraviolet because you keep saying that they're invisible. But if they're invisible because they're black light, then the best they're going to be is purple because that would be coming into the visible spectrum. But to sit there and say that a red Kachina and a blue Kachina are actually a red and a blue sun, but they're both invisible because they're black light means they are not red and they are not blue. I just thought I'd throw that in because your twisted, confused nonsense telling people about there's a red sun in the sky and a blue sun in the sky, and yet then you say that it's a black light means it's not red and it's not blue because those are light spectrums, whereas the UV light is invisible to human eyes. So you saying it's invisible but then saying it's a red star and a blue star contradicts everything you say. Everything you say is pure nonsense. And I hope everybody realises that. Okay. So there we go. I put three pictures in a straight line and made it look like it was rotating by looking at it wrong, by changing the angle of my viewing. And then when we follow the orbit, we find out that the moon's not rotating at all. Thanks very much. I do hope that people understand right from wrong, lies from truth and fact from fiction after this video. Thanks a lot. Bye.